they, YouTubers? Now, the Archbishop has asked me to give you this message. Because in the C of E, we see feel we need to speak out unto our flock, um, really to give them a message of well-being at this time. Well, what am I talking about? As usual, you probably don't know. However, in the United States, it appears that in some of their churches, there has been rather an updraft in followings for a certain belief that the world is going to end very soon. The rapture, which comes before the end of the world apparently, is going to start very soon, as I said, in fact Saturday. This of course is according to some of these strange evangelical types that, that live in America. Now, they've been advertising on the televisions apparently, uh, on the news programs, also advertising billboards, on buses, and I believe on radio stations. They, they have actually been telling everybody that May the 21st is going to be the day of rapture. Starts with a big earthquake. Now the earthquake itself, which let's face it, there's earthquakes every day on the on earth, it would have to be a pretty major one to take some sort of interest. So some sort of earthquake is going to happen. Not exactly sure what time. We say it's May the 21st, but of course if you did live on that particular timeline, you could actually this could actually happen Friday night or, or even on well Sunday. Um, but wherever it'll be, May the 21st, it'll be in that spot where it starts. I hope you understand that. International date lane, date, date timelines, and all that, you know. So, what's going to happen? Apparently, as I said, earthquake, and then it will get worse and worse and worse and worse, until around about October the 21st, the entire humanity will be wiped out, and it'll be the end of the world. Now, why should we not worry about this? Well, that's why I was asked. Well, for starters, we couldn't do much about it, could we? So why worry about it? If it did happen, well, I'm not going to stop it, nor are you. If it doesn't happen, then it doesn't happen. And they'll look like idiots and put another, unfortunately, a black spot or, or damp stain on, on Christian religion. So, let's look at this. In the Bible, as always, it does say that no man will be able to predict the date for the, for the end of times. But um, it doesn't stop people having a go, of course. It also, it also says that should, uh, at this time, the end of times, of rapture, Jesus will turn up again. Yes, the second coming of Jesus, or the third, depending on how you look at it. Um, he'll be turning up and, and be saving souls willy-nilly um, amongst all their great followers. Now, this is a strange thing, because if you're going to die, you're going to go to heaven anyway, um, whether you're Jesus is there or not. Why exactly does Jesus want to come back at that time? This is something we've pondered over for many, many a century. Why would Jesus pop back just to gloat? And carrying people off to heaven, well, are we to assume that other people who have died throughout history, throughout time, weren't carried off to heaven? They never went to heaven? Well, no, of course not. That would just be silly. So, what would Jesus do if he turned up? Well, apparently, nobody would really recognise him anyway, and many people would fail to see him as the return of the Messiah. It also says that people would, um, uh, people that do follow, uh, if he doesn't turn up as the Messiah, no, sorry, the devil himself will have many false fake, fake people, so you won't recognise him anyway. Would he be one of the devil's followers, or would he be one of God's followers? No one knows, because nobody actually can tell. The Bible doesn't really make it clear. Do I make myself clear? No. Anyway, so the thing is, Mrs Higgins, one of our parishioners, um, she uh, decided, oh, if the world's going to end, Perhaps I should sign up for this kidney transplant thing where I can get some money. I said, no, Mrs Higgins, no, do not do it. Um, I don't really think that Jesus would want you to do that. Just so you could have a great send-off party. No, no, if we could have a party any time. So, the thing is, in the Church of England, we don't want any of our followers to worry about this. Um, revelations 
can't really be understood and shouldn't be understood. That was the whole purpose of Revelations. It's a classic work of pure spiritual poetry. But to be taken seriously, unfortunately cannot. Anyway, I won't bore you anymore. Just don't worry. Um, hopefully I'll see you on Sunday in uh, St. Lavinia's Church if you can't make it um, due to any other unforeseen circumstances. Then, uh, then send me a text. Anyway, take care and uh, I hope everybody's feeling absolutely fine, don't worry. Worse things have happened, well no they haven't actually, but may happen.